record. You want to record your prospecting. Because one reason why I got really good at prospecting is I listened to my recordings. Now, some of you don't want to hear yourself on your voice. In fact, it's well known that most people don't like to hear themselves. But it's okay. It's just you and uh, the prospecting. And uh, what you do is, you know, it's just you like in the room. So what you do is you listen to yourself and you say to yourself, what could I have done better? Number two, what did I do well? And I'm, and I'm mentioning that this on purpose because a lot of people do not address what they could have done well. They're always beating themselves up. So what you do, you go, hey, that was pretty good. And I'll give you a, another thing that I invented. It's called the turning point. And what that means, I'm, I mean, maybe somebody else has got something out there too, but I never heard it before. So what I do is that when somebody gets an appointment or gets a listing, you look for the turning point. You go, what happened? What was the shift? And unless you listen for it, you might ignore it. You might not get it. So you go, oh, it's when I asked about where you're moving to. Or it's when we had that connection that we both came, went to this university. Or it's when I got really excited about their move and I started to show that my curiosity, something happened. And I, my energy, my voice seemed to have changed. It's something that happened in the turning point. Many times it's something you said as well to really impress them. So you go, blah, 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 blah. And we actually get on the phone. We make outgoing calls. And they go, hey, yeah, yeah, I used to do that. I used to be in insurance. And, and the person just changed because they go, I, I know what you're talking about. I can, I can see you're a salesperson. And that's what I need. So when you know the turning points, the good thing about that is, number one, you know the turning point of that particular individual. So you know what Roxy's bought or her bought. So you've got to bring that up at the presentation. And number two, you'll start seeing a pattern for yourself. You say, when I, when I go into a really resonant voice or when I, when I really listen and I'm quiet and I just let them talk and I just go, hmm, really, tell me more. It, it seems to change people. So you'll start finding what works for you. That's right. But listening to your calls is really important.